Hi guys, welcome to another video, and today we are flying paper airplanes. Because today's book is... That's right, today we're doing First Flight by DK Readers, and this covers the story of the Wright brothers who manufactured the world's first flying airplane. That's right. Yeah. So today we're going to be covering the story of the Wright brothers. Now what's most important about the Wright brothers and most other inventors is they didn't just go, hey, let's come up with this marvelous flying machine that'll help us, you know, go up into the skies and stay there for a long period of time. That's not what they did. Instead, they started on a common goal, which was to have a person be able to stay in the sky without falling for a certain period of time. And then they made a lot of different machines called prototypes that mostly ended in failure. And then they finally created one successful one, and that made them famous forever. So their names are actually Wil Wilbur Wright and Orville Wright, and they were actually people from a bicycle company. So they knew a lot about wheels when they started. But then Orville had this crazy idea about how to build an airplane, not a paper airplane, but a real, actual, steel-made airplane that will allow a human to stay up in the sky without falling down. And the way he reasoned he would do that was by copying the wing shapes of birds. You see, birds have a lot of weight. Well, some birds have a lot of weight, like eagles are really heavy, but they manage to soar without falling down. And the reason they do that is because they have large wings. Now, these wings, what they do here, just like on the paper airplane, these wings catch the air currents underneath, and they literally you know, have the air draft up underneath the wings and push the airplane up so that it doesn't fall down. Remember, gravity is the force for pulling the airplane down, but if the air is pushing back up against the wings, then the airplane stays up because the force of the air pushing up counters the force of gravity pulling down, right? Now, they also realized that it was super important to have this pointed tip at the end because that would reduce air resistance. And if air resistance happens, say for example, let's say this is my air resistance. So if air resistance happens, the plane slows down and the plane stops. And when the plane stops, the air stops pushing up these wings because the air is no longer flowing across these wings anymore. So that when the plane stops, gravity is still there because gravity doesn't stop, so the plane falls straight down. Now they didn't want that to happen because their goal was to have the plane continue flying. So in order to get rid of that air resistance, they made this pointed tip so that instead of the air just slamming against this point and, you know, slowing the plane down because the air is slamming against it, they would have the air smoothly glide off and propel the plane forward, right? So yeah, they spent a lot of time studying the wings of birds, they spent a lot of time designing different wing shapes that mostly failed, and then one fateful day they came up with this design called the Flyer One, and it was made out of wood, and it wasn't very sturdy, but they managed to stay up in the sky for a long, long time with that design. And their design is now officially considered the first ever airplane in the world. And today, obviously, we have tons of airplanes. Obviously, some of us fly in them more than others, but we all know that there are airplanes and people can fly in them, right? So yeah, now it's really amazing that we can also fold paper airplanes and test out our own theories of aviation without having to actually build airplanes like Wright Brothers. But obviously, their story is very inspirational, and you know, whenever you see a paper airplane, you'll now think of the Wright Brothers, right? Okay. So yeah, this book is obviously nonfiction, and it has some pretty great illustrations. Obviously, uh, they've got a lot of different designs here that mostly failed. But I think the great fact about this book is that it's really detailed on the story of the Wright brothers and how they came up with a design in specific. So it's a lot about science and aviation and physics. So yeah, if you're interested in science and physics, you might want to try out this book. But in general, it is a level four proficient reading book. So if you're a level one or two reader who's been to the library once or twice, you might not want to pick up this book because it's got a lot of details that you need to know, okay? So yeah, this book is really great though, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. And if you can fold a paper airplane, you can probably read this book, okay?
the Wright brothers, who manufactured <laughs> both first is <laughs> ah, <it's> stop. <laughs>